Hello and welcome to the Ooh La La Insider. I'm your host, Top Up Tecto. In today's news, we have just received word that tomorrow we will receive one of the first quality of life patches that Ooh La La has yet to see. Generally, the majority of the changes have been widely and positively received, but why does one change have certain players up in arms? Let's talk about that. So if you've been on Global Chat, you've probably heard about what people are pissed off about for the new patch. Now, I don't want to reveal my opinion too early. We'll do that a bit more towards the end, but for now, we're going to talk about all of the features so far. Now, there is a bit of ambiguity, I'm not going to lie. We will never know what we're going to get until we have it in our grubby little hands. But for now, we can only speculate. However, I've glanced over this patch and there's actually a lot of good changes. Now, some people definitely don't seem to understand the gravity of these otherwise minuscule quality of life changes that, that I've seen people call that before. But they're actually quite huge and they're actually being implemented in a time frame that is actually incredibly efficient and just generally so good for us as the players and I'm going to tell y'all why so let's talk about one of the first big changes and I mean big for a damn good reason we're talking about the improvement to the team system so now that does not mean the your actual team it's not going to make your team better but this means more like a matchmaking system for the team so the reason why I say that the improvement in the team system is so huge because guess what's coming up everybody yes the hunting season, at least number one, is coming to a close very, very, very soon. Actually, less than 48 hours of the time that I post this. The hunting season, the very first one, will be closed on all servers. Global, North America, yada, yada, yada. All the other ones too, right? The reason why it's so important that the improvements of the team system took place right now is because, guess what? When your hunting season is over, and by the way, another video that I'll be posting very soon is going to talk about what happens when the hunting season ends. Well, one of the big things is that everybody's going to be merged onto a giant server. So now, for example, the global players will only be lumped into the global servers. We'll still be separated by region. But the global hunting season one will be now merged into a generic global server as well as every other server as they come to a close. The reason why it's so important why they change the team system because there is going to be a massive influx in players and because that system is going to take place soon, that means that finding a team with your power level will now be easier than ever and thank God for that. So if you're a player who's had a extremely hard time finding a team that's suitable for you amongst your power level, well, you shouldn't have to worry about it for too much longer because hey we got increased and improved accuracy in matchmaking and thank god dude thank god okay new team prompts golden finger pet adventure toy box toy store and clatter card now what does that mean i'm not sure i'm hoping and this is just a hope that, that means that when the players unlock toy box that they'll be able to manage it for um, other players via the golden finger option but right now i don't really know what it is so this one is a little bit ambiguous but we'll be able to see some changes and i hope to god it's that one or at least being able to see your allies clatter cards to tell them whether an it whether they're an idiot or not because some people have no idea what they're doing for clatter cards uh speaking of which if you need advice for that i have a clatter card guide and also classes for almost every single uh class out so far all right next thing quick battles auto challenge level cap has been increased to level 50. now i'm not sure what this means i'm not sure if this means because once again this is being translated from chinese to english so there could be some translation errors in here but i'm not sure if that means that your quick battle isn't going to have the time 10 auto challenge system until you're level 50 or if it means that it will try to auto challenge 50 times in a row until you fail i'm not sure currently this one's up in the air i'm a little bit iffy about this one but i do understand the reasoning is they do want to increase a player interaction in the game at least in the early stages getting level 50 took me around six days so maybe a week of not having the auto times 10 won't be too bad but eh, i get it uh but on the other hand if it does go up to times 50 that would save me a hell of a lot of time so i'm hoping it's that one but if it's not i won't get my hopes up all right pet expedition has a one-click collect rewards function and pet animations have also been sped up yeah thank god for that um i know it's a matter of fractions of a second but going to collect my pet expedition rewards just took so goddamn long something about it felt so laggy so being able to skip the animation like everything else in the game dope that's only going to save players time and it's going to be good 
Um, personally, sometimes I do enjoy the little fanfare and the pizzazz and all that stuff. But, hey, this will be good for the game, especially for the players. You just need to get in, get out. All the busy players, all that jazz. Next thing, store improvements. In order to facilitate shopping, the toy store will be incorporated into the same interface as the black market. That's going to be really cute. How we're going to have a little toy store to go and the little black market, it's going to make it feel a lot more exciting, a lot more universal, and just a lot more immersive in general knowing that you go to the black market to get your skills to get your food and also a little toy store for you and the kids it's going to be super cute i love it i can't wait for that change it's a completely unnecessary change it's literally unnecessary but it's just that little bit of extra flavor that little bit of extra immersion i'm super excited about number five we're talking about that last feel free to skip ahead if you want if you want to hear it. this is what all the drama is about and i'm going to weigh in on it at the very end of the video okay improvements to the combat camera and field of view yes sometimes the combat camera would suck you wouldn't really be able to see what was going on you have to finesse it around a whole bunch so being able to change the combat camera field of view is going to be great especially for screenshots which is going to be really cool especially if you're loving with your buddies and you want to save your memories i'm hoping we can scoop around so we can see the boss's booties but if we can't that's okay all right pet boss and skill icons have been updated. Cool, if they wanna make things look nicer, dope, pretty much all there is to say about it. Clatter card effects removed, halo of colors on the foot, pop-up effect. I don't know what this means. Personally, I really like the extra pizzazz that it had whenever a card matched up. Maybe this is something else that I'm not understanding, but the only type of extra effect I know is when you get a pair in the shop and you go to buy it and then you merge into three, or if it shows you that you have another pair that you could eventually merge into three. Uh, so I don't know what that's talking about. I hope it doesn't remove that animation, but we'll see how it goes. Once again, nothing is final until the actual update drops. So hey, if you already got your pitchforks out, at least wait until we actually know what's happening for sure. All right, notification pops up when there is no space to display skill description. I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe there are certain abilities where a notification would pop up when you couldn't see everything, but I don't really get that one at all. I'm assuming that's a translation error. That one doesn't really make too much sense to me, or I could be way too tired to understand it. Who knows? All right, last one, uh, besides the fifth one with the most controversy surrounding it, is character skill and pet skill drop rates are available in game this is great and this is one of the big controversies for video games in general where a lot of uh games are being banned unless they post their rates for everything um for players to easily access due to the fact that well people don't understand that well they consider loot boxes to be gambling in a way and to be honest they kind of actually are so letting players know what they're getting into before they actually do the gotcha system is going to be really great it's going to feel it's going to make players feel a lot more in control and a lot less unlucky if you know the exact rates of what's actually happening unless you have some catastrophic spree of unluckiness to where you feel like your game's broken but eh who knows i'm glad they're posting these it is very important especially to a lot of parents um or just people who have gambling problems in general all right last one and by that, I mean the middle one. But the one that we're going to end this segment on for the Ooh La La Insider. Removed the harass the lady in the black market quest. So, if you're new here, or if you're new to the game, there is currently a quest that goes on for you to poke this girl. And eventually, if you do it enough, she'll kick you out. Alright, so we're going to break this down. Because currently, a lot of people are furious that this quest is going to be removed. Honestly, if you bring it up in the general chat, I'm sure you'll cause some outbreak for you. However, I feel that the rage and discontent is misplaced because they don't fully grasp what's happening right now. If you have a different opinion, feel free to leave me a comment. But let's talk about it right here. First, let's break down dialogue text by dialogue text on what's going on here. So what happens? You click this girl a couple times. First time you get dot, dot, dot. Next time, you click she says, hey, mind your hand. Next one, she says, hey, I'll kick your ass if you dare poke me again. And the last one, hey, get the hell out of my shop or something. I can't read that fast. Now, people are pissed because they think they're removing it from the game. I would like to clarify that right now. They are not removing it from the game. They are simply getting rid of the reward system for doing that. Now... One of the big arguments that I see, besides the first one, they think they're getting rid of the quest. They're not. Oh, sorry, they're getting rid of the quest. They're not getting rid of the interaction so far, based on what I'm assuming. 
So people are wondering now, why are they removing that black market quest if they're not removing the bird quest? And the bird quest is the one where you tap the bird a couple times and boom, after a couple times, he becomes your friend. Well, there's a big difference in harassing a shopkeeper for money and making friends with a bird for money. Those two are not comparable. Hey, go make friends with somebody who's gonna help you progress in the game makes sense for a quest. Raising your affinity with somebody who's gonna help you progress makes sense. Making yourself a villain to the god of goods, the black market keeper? Yeah, right, why the hell would that be a quest? She's helping you. Why would you wanna piss her off? There's no reason. Now, a lot of people instantly, instantly go to the oh the social justice warriors are so sensitive no dude look i get it it's 2019 and there's been a lot of controversy over gender equality and women's rights and male rights and all that jazz first of all this is a children's game let's just relax for a little bit the reason why this is being removed is not because of some type of sjw conspiracy it's being removed because it makes no sense why on earth would you get rewarded for harassing this anime cutie it doesn't make any sense she's the one who gives you everything and regardless they're not removing it they're just removing the quest the interaction is still going to be there so it's not about any sensitivity it just doesn't make any sense at least that's my opinion so those are going to be all the changes that will be coming within 48 hours of the posting of this video i really hope y'all enjoyed the video and i would really like to hear y'all's comments in this section below please let me know how are you feeling do you feel like i'm underplaying this or are you kind of on my side personally dude i'm just tired of arguing for real i'm tired of arguing so you know just reading into everything so much it's just tiring man at the end of the day this is just a game it changes the game none zero whatsoever so dude let's just have some fun man let's have some fun let's grind some mobs let's kill some bosses and let's get them pets all right let's hit it to the outro all right that's gonna do it for this one i hope you enjoyed the video please make sure to leave me a comment let me know how you feel because i want to know y'all's opinion do you like what's coming do you not just let me know anywho really great things are coming to this game especially because the season's ending super super soon which means more pvp for y'all and more pvp on my channel as well and speaking of my channel thank y'all so much for all the support that y'all been giving me for this channel for real it's been completely overwhelming myself and my wife cannot thank y'all enough so for from the bottom of my heart thank y'all all right enough of that sappy shit i've been tecto Y'all been great. Hope y'all are having a damn good one. And as always, peace.